Uh, I beg to move that this house should consider the challenges faced by men and boys across our United Kingdom today on International Men's Day. On my debate in Westminster Hall where I'm raising with ministers in the Department for Education uh, about educational attainment for white working class boys. Uh, a huge challenge and statistically uh, it's those boys that are most likely uh, to struggle at school, most likely to have their life goals kind of cut off at the knees. Even by the age of five when they start primary school they're already behind their peers uh, and even different uh, ethnicities of, of other boys. It's uh, uh, white kids from communities like Mansfield who are struggling the most. Uh, it's almost frowned upon to raise the plight of white lads in communities like Mansfield. We need to be able to talk about this openly if we're going to fix it. So an important issue to raise this morning, I'll let you know how it goes. It's, it's disadvantaged white boys that are statistically faring the worst, that are underrepresented at universities, underrepresented in our public institutions and whose life chances are most limited through being most likely to have no qualifications. So the popular narrative of white privilege is regularly wheeled out, assuming that these poorest white children don't face discrimination on that basis, Mrs Cummings, but in fact uh, they do. Our society is ignoring what is statistically one of its most vulnerable demographics. As it happens, these lads are also more likely than anyone to chuck themselves in front of a train, and that's not a coincidence. One of my great passions in the campaign I most regularly return to in this place, Madam Deputy Speaker, is that of working class boys in areas like Mansfield. That these lads are least likely of any group to do well at school, to improve their lot in life, to get to university, to ever have the opportunity to spread their wings further afield and aspire beyond the borders of the place they grew up in. Working class white boys often seem to sit bottom of the pile. We know that on average boys consistently underperform girls and white boys from disadvantaged backgrounds underperform against all races and ethnicities of other boys. Only around a third of white working class boys pass their maths and English GCSEs. And these white working class boys are being let down by an inbuilt and inherent disadvantage. And I'm concerned that in too many places this is a, a taboo subject. It's something we can't talk about, the fact that white boys need more help. These kids don't have male role models at home. They're confused about masculinity and what it means in their role uh, in society. But we need to be supporting them through that, not punishing them. But I raise this issue in these terms today to make sure that those boys in my community are getting their fair hearing.